This is the old growler and guess what? We're back at the Henry Street Ale House. And not only that, we have us a beer that is gonna be outstanding. This is the Fuller's 1998 Vintage Ale number 12912, there we go. And if you remember the story about Jaime Gerardo, the uh, brewmaster, he went to the event in 1990, uh, 19, I believe it was almost 2000. And the brewmaster who brewed these gave them to him as a gift, and he gave them to me as a gift. And so that's what we're going to be trying today. And the beer tasters today, we have, back with us again, Fred Dex. What's up? Over here, we've got Jim. Jim Bennett. And as always, Jerry we've got Scott. Jerry Scott. All right, now, what are we going to expect from a Fuller's 1998 vintage ale? Well, on the back, it tells us that I have crafted this very special ale from the current champion malted barley and hops, uh, and of course, our unique yeast, to create a truly extraordinary limited edition brew. Individually packed and numbered, the bottle is one of only 85,000 produced. Yellow and golden, it will improve with age, <laughs> we'll find that out, and for best results should be matured in a cold room or a cellar. Being bottle conditioned, it forms a natural sediment, so pour carefully, sit back, and enjoy this very finest of Fuller's Ale. Okay, so what do we expect from that description? Dax? Awesomeness. Okay. Awesome. It's going to be a, a, a standard ale. It's going to be, uh, uh, you know, with a reasonable number of hops. It's not going to be like an IPA, but it be, should be fairly clear and dark, uh, relatively dark, uh, maybe an amber color. Uh, and um, should be full flavored, full body. Let's well, have time to figure it out. Yeah. Jer, what do you think? Yeah, pretty much agreeing with Jim there. Uh, I think it's going to be a little golden to amber. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's held up. Well, let's crack it open and see if Fuller's 1998 can meet expectations. Well, we had that 97, just whatever. Seems like a lifetime ago. No, oh, it, it was. was. In the summer we had that, and to me it was really surprising because wow. some some wines don't even age for 20 Look at years. That. Still got a great head. Wow. Yeah, it's got a nice rich color. You gotta get the money shot. Oh yeah, look Boy. at that. <laughs> I'll take the little guy. All right. You get all the good stuff at the bottom. There you go. I got the. You got all the vitamins. I, I need it. I need it. Oh, he I'm does. A liquid diet. Vitamin, 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 no oh alcohol. yeah, there's almost sherry. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exactly what I was gonna say. And the first sip. Lots of dried fruits, <clears throat> dried cranberry, dried, <clears throat> dried oh, cherry, wow. raisin. Oh. A lot of raisin. Perfume. A lot of yeah. There's yeah. There's a lot of fruit in there. It's very dark, even yeah. Syrupy kind of. Ooh. It's held up. That has more than held up. That is awesome. That is some like dates, figs, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yep. I Absolutely. think I mentioned this last time, the Christmas cake, that pantone yeah. mm. kind there of thing. That, Absolutely. That like, um, almost like a little angel cake flavor yeah. to this. Like, yep. Yeah. Really, really. This is quite, remarkable. Quite wonderful. Yeah. It really is. That is terrific. It's amazing that after all this time, this is held up like this. It's, yeah, it tastes like kind I of like I mean, one of those Christmas Not a lot of sediment in there at all. No. Some brewers make a... Uh, no, um, it's, it's amazing. I, I, what surprises me is the depth of the flavors. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. really, really good. And the finish, it's, it's, it's holding on. It's, it's not letting go. It's not dropping off the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The finish this is, is wonderful. Fig good stuff. and cherry. Well, texture's really nice, too. The yeah. bubbles are great. The bubbles are really creamy. Yeah. It's a little sappy in the mid pot. It's got a little bit of syrupy sappiness. Yep. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, the, the, uh, the bubbles have held up well. With Nice, uh, really wonderful. Well, surprise. Does Fuller's 1998 
vintage ale meet expectations. Dex? I'd give this about a 8.8 .8 on, the, on, the, on a 10 here. So okay. That's, that's pretty high. Jim? Okay, I'm going to say yes. I'm not going to give it a number. <laughs> that's the ticket. And Jer? I, it surpasses my expectations. I was not expecting it to have held up this well. It's really got a, it's got, it's got everything. It's, it's awesome. Really, really, really held on. Well, Maybe that's... 9.2. 9.2. <laughs> Pump it up. All right, well, I'm not going to use a number either. I'm simply going to say, as Jerry does, that it certainly does exceed expectations. I'm the old grower, hoping all of your beers meet expectations. Prost. Woohoo! Wow, this is wonderful. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you did, click on the subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler. See you next time.